Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Uh, Chantel Cameron is now the undisputed uh, world super lightweight champ. She defeated Jessica McCaskill on uh, was it? Yeah, it was a unanimous decision. Two judges had it 96 94. That's what I had it, and one had it, I think, 97 93. Now, this was a strange fight because number one, it didn't live up to the hype. We all thought it was going to be a great, great scrap. wasn't a bad fight, but it didn't really set fire as we all thought it might, or a lot of us thought it might. And my prediction was that McCaskill would win a scrap. She would drag Chantel into a good old-fashioned barn burner and edge her very, very slightly on the on the scorecards. Didn't prove out that it didn't turn out that way. Didn't prove to be that way. Because they were, it was a weird fight. Because early on in the first round, out comes Jessica McCaskill, like a little miniature Dwight Muhammad Cowie, immediately trying to put some some heat on Chantel Cameron. Um, now there was apparently a clash of heads in that first round. I thought the one thing that really steadied McCaskill was there was a ramrod jab that seemed to hurt her, and. I've only watched this fight live. I haven't watched it back, but I intend to. Apparently, there was a clash of heads. Now, I don't know whether that ramrod jab was the, the reason why McCaskill suddenly appeared unsteady and, you know, hurt. But her balance was suddenly all over the place. I mean, there was a head. There must have been a head, but a sort of head clash because she had a sort of swelling over the, on the forehead. I think McCaskill, uh, I think Coach Cameron also had some damage, but most of most of the effective damage was on McCaskill. And she was, she just, from that moment on, did not seem like the Jessica McCaskill that we knew. Cameron was punching first, landing first, and uh, punching last and landing. I mean, it was a really impressive, consistent um, sort of fight of, of box fighting, if you like, from from Cameron. She was very, very impressive indeed. And her work rate was excellent. McCaskill just didn't seem to be at the races until after five rounds, she suddenly started to, I don't know whether the fog cleared in her head. Maybe she had double vision for a while. Maybe she would, she had a slight concussion. It took her a while to come out of it. Um, but her balance, her balance was really all over the place to, uh, during the first half of the fight. And it, he improved marginally in the second half. Um, and she went from being outfought, not just outboxed and out hit, but outfought by Cameron to having some success. And in fact, Cameron ended up with a cut over the bridge of her nose. Now, this is more the fight that I'd expected. I thought Cameron, being a proud champ, would get involved with, with McCaskill get into a scrap and probably end up being slightly outpointed. It was not the case. But in the second half of the fight, McCaskill definitely narrowed that gap. I mean, the gap was so wide after five rounds. Don't forget, these are, these are five, uh, 10 two-minute rounds, not 12 threes. So McCaskill had a mountain to climb, and she kind of clawed her way back into it. I mean, literally, this was just a case of, let's have a scrap. And she was slugging and swinging punches and you know bending low and taking punches and coming, trying to come back. And she's kind of clawed her way back to the point where um, after nine rounds, I thought, what did I have it now? I think I had it. I think I had it. Five, four, five, four often. Yeah. Five, four after nine rounds. Don't quote me on that. I'd, I'd have to, I'd have to think about that. But the last round, you could you could argue that if McCaskill had scraped the last round, she might have got a draw. I didn't think so. I thought, despite narrowing the gap, I thought Chantel Cameron just hung on. That's, that's not to say she was ever really hurt by McCaskill, but McCaskill was landing more punches. After 10 rounds, like I say, it was a unanimous win for Chantel Cameron. I kind of agree with that. It wasn't the great fight we thought it would be. I'm a little perplexed as to McCaskill's performance overall, but I definitely think that she, she suffered some sort of concussion. 
Barry Jones, I think, mentioned she might have a popped eardrum because the balance was off. It was really, really weird to watch. But she came out in that first round. She was looking to land some serious pressure, let some serious punches on, on Cameron and really take her out of her comfort zone. And Cameron fought back well. And like I say, did land some very good punches. But there was something in that first round that meant McCaskill was somehow hindered um, for at least half of the fight. Couldn't land her punch, punches. I mean, I was thinking, is, is she gotten old overnight? Because she's, she's 38, Jessica McCaskill. Um, sometimes fighters do get old overnight. But I don't think it was that. I think it was a mixture of punches, maybe the head clash that did her. But anyway, it's all history now. Um, Chantal Cameron has got all four main belts and I think she's got the IBO thrown in and she's probably got the ring magazine thrown in so she'll never be without a bit of jewellery to wear to a, 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 an event, you know but McCaskill is still undisputed at welterweight and after the fight Chantel said well I'll go up to welterweight and I'll have your belts as well you know <laughs> how many belts do you want love um, yeah what do you think was it, was it as weird as I'm making out I thought McCaskill yeah, she was just lacking something. Something happened in that fight early on that took her out of a took her out of a game plan. Um, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts below. And of course, hit the like button if you like the video. Subscribe. Yeah, you know the drill. We've got the main event coming up: Zerdo against uh, Bivol. I'll do a review on that one. Uh, but this has been a very, very good card. Uh, Dzone, you know, much maligned for. Various reasons. I've done my own videos videos on the zones, current woes, but this has been a good card. Good card. Good matchups, and uh, let's hope the the main event is uh, you know memorable. So comments below. Hit subscribe. Hit like. We'll speak soon. Bye bye for now.